Are you a Mac user who has out of print CDs that just aren't available on streaming services and you need to rip those CDs into your Apple Music library? Yes, in 2024, there's still some of us that are doing that. Well, you've probably experienced some frustration trying to find an external drive that works with a current MacBook Pro. I'm running a 2021 MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Apple M1 Max chip with 64 gigabytes of memory running Sonoma 14.3.1 and I've tried a couple of external drives by Verbatim and a few other manufacturers, and they just won't plug and play with my Mac. So I've read a lot about this USB super drive that Apple themselves still sell. And if you can believe it, it still comes with the old style USB cable. So I had to use the Apple adapter, USB-C adapter. But I've read a lot of reviews online about this, and I've seen everything from it's the greatest drive in history, so this thing sucks, it's horrible, it's nothing but a coaster. Well, it's $80, and yes, that's a significant expense, but I was so determined to get some CDs ripped with an external drive that would just work. Finally broke down, went to the Apple Store, and bought the USB Super Drive. So as I mentioned, you need to put this little USB-C adapter, which of course Apple will sell to you. I think it was about $20 if I remember right. In this particular case, I've got a CD here by a group called Madhouse. It's actually just Prince, and it's a jazz album he recorded with some fellow musicians that is just not available in streaming. So is this thing actually gonna work, the USB Super Drive? Can happily report to you that it does. I'm gonna plug it in to my MacBook Pro, and you'll see in a second here on my screen, Nothing's going to show up yet because I don't have a CD in it. So I'm going to load the CD. Okay, well once I load the CD, an icon will pop up. It's automatically going to detect it. I don't have to download a driver, nothing like that. It just shows up. Luckily, because it's an Apple product, it just works. All right, and not only that, it opens up Apple Music for me. That's it, plug and play, that's all I ask of it. All right, so I'm gonna go over here for the moment. It's detecting what the album is, Eight by Madhouse. I'll just click okay. It's asking me if I wanna import the music. At this moment, I don't, because I wanna go make sure the tracks are named properly, so I'm gonna say no. I will go over here to the side of the library and you'll see here, there's a CD icon. I'm just gonna click on that. And that shows here the different track numbers. And in this case, they're actually correctly named. The album is called Eight, and it found the correct track titles, which is simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's what Prince actually named these songs rather than come up with something creative. But the album is killer. So then I wanna import the CD. Current version of Apple's music will do that. You just go up to the top here. Click on Import CD. Next thing you'll see are your settings coming up. In this case, I'm using the AAC encoder. I have a custom setting set to 320 kilobytes. I'm gonna leave error correction off for now. I'm just doing a simple rip. If you encounter problems ripping your CD, you can try checking that and it might help. And I'm just gonna hit OK. You'll hear a slight whir on the drive. It's really quiet. And you'll see the tracks start to rip. And I'm gonna pause here and we'll come back when the CD is done importing. Okay, we're back. The CD is done ripping. It took about four or five minutes, not that long. And we can see there's a check mark next to all the tracks. It's finished importing. I'm gonna go over to the side here and click on songs so I can see my library. And I'm gonna click on artist. Go down until we find Madhouse. And there's the album, it's imported. So one note, some of the negative reviews, I figured out some of the people said that the disc wouldn't even load. It would load, it would go into the machine, but that it wouldn't do anything. And then I was reading a couple of threads and finally figured out, if you look at the underside of this, the SuperDrive actually has the Apple logo. 
a lot of folks were accustomed to the Apple logo being on the top of the device. So they were laying it down like this, putting a CD in and trying to rip it, not realizing the disc was upside down. So make sure you've got the Apple logo facing the bottom when you put your CDs into this drive. That's one tip I can tell you that'll save you some aggravation. It seems pretty obvious to me, but I actually saw a lot of people that had a problem with that. All right, so durability wise, this thing really feels like an Apple product. It's substantial, it feels like a quality piece of equipment. The verbatim drive that I got and a couple of the other drives just felt like cheap plastic, like you got them in a, as a prize at an arcade or something, a really crappy feeling product. This feels substantial, it's durable, and it seems to be pretty good about taking the discs in without scuffing them up. I've heard some complaints about a couple of discs being scuffed. I have not yet had that encountered with any of my CDs. So far, I've ripped about 20 CDs since I bought this, and I've not had any scuffing issues on the CDs at all. And so far, all these CDs actually imported flawlessly. I'll post another video later and let you know if that's not the case going forward. But so far, I'm about 20 CDs in, and I've had no problems with this drive. So at this point, to get 20 CDs ripped into my library, that's worth the 80 bucks. So if this thing dies today, as far as I'm concerned, I got my money's worth but hopefully it'll last for some time to come. Again, it's plug and play with current MacBooks and hopefully that'll help you out, save you a lot of aggravation. Good luck.